I don't know anybody who doesn't love air-cooled engines. They are easy to work on and are also louder, which makes them a bit more appealing. I'm with your racer and today I want to show you some interesting air-cooled diesel engines. <music> Starting this list with a very interesting piece, it is the Continental AV series, which is a single volume engine series made in gasoline and diesel version. It was AV or AVDS. The diesel delivers much more power with a, a lot higher compression ratio and with a forced induction. It is being used for armored vehicles and tanks and it keeps the air cooling besides the gasoline unit. It has double overhead cams and requires 135 to 260 kilograms of fuel per hour. Deutz F5L is very simple in design and reliable in maintenance. It is a successful recipe for a good engine that lasts a long time. As a typical Deutz, it is air-cooled with natural aspiration and fairly low weight. It has 5 cylinders, but this series can use any number of cylinders, up to 12 actually. It can run on high sulfur fuels and besides other uses, can also be used in any marine application, despite the air cooling. Next one is Punson V Twin, which comes from China, and it may not be as attractive to many of you, but it is very cool anyway. It is a diesel four-stroke overhead valve unit with direct injection, air cooling, with a fan from the front side of the engine. It uses aluminum from the engine block and consumes any light oil. It is known for ruggedness and reliability, and in total, it weighs. 64 kilograms in dry weight. Mm -hmm. Praga V3 is a very popular machine in Czechia and Slovakia. It is incredibly reliable and capable off-road truck with a twin rear-powered axles and switchable front axle. It uses a 4-speed unsynchronized transmission with portal axles. The engine in the Praga was a half of the Tatra 111 engine, which was a V12, so this was an inline 6 with 7.4 liter of engine volume. It was of course air-cooled and very reliable even during very hot weather. Amongst Praga's capabilities was also a ability to climb a 75% incline. Another very small power plant on this list is Yanmar, which is a Japanese company making single cylinder diesel air cooled engines. They have a tradition of making these engines since 1959 and they have produced over 1.5 million of them. There are various models LN, LV, LW, 
for different markets, overall always non-turbo vertical single cylinder engine with direct injection. It uses a washable oil filter and automotive style air filter. And the best for the end, Tatra 813, which was actually supported by the military itself, aiming for ultimate truck starting on a Tatra 138 base. During the development, most of the unified parts got upgraded for better durability, leaving the production 813 a very original truck. It used a typical backbone Tatra chassis design with swing axles as a proven solution for best off-road performance. Engine was sourced from the Tatra 8138's V8 with added 4 cylinders using actual cooling fan which turned on or off depending on oil temperature. It also had an oil cooler mounted before the fan and there was a dry sump oil system and independent heating. Thank you very much for watching, if you have any questions please comment down below and I will try to answer them. Thank you again and see you in the next one, cheers!